Uh, my name is Destiny Opilato. Um, I am from Hawaii, Oahu. I've been born and raised here my whole life. Um, I went to high school in Mililani, and then now I'm here at LCC doing science stuff, doing what I love pretty much. <laughs> oh, that's good. My name is Valeria Alicea. Um, I'm actually Puerto Rican, so I'm born from Puerto Rico, but I was raised in Texas. Um, we're actually military, so that's what brought us here to Hawaii. Um, I'm actually chasing a bachelor's in biology, because um, that's really where my interest is. Um, and hopefully going into medical school has a final result, so. So this summer, basically what we did was we looked at the oviduct of hens, which is where the eggs of chicken, chicken eggs are synthesized from the, just the yolk into that egg that you buy at the store. We looked at the tissues in the oviduct and we examined the expression of gonadotropin releasing hormone receptor, which basically has been found to um, regulate the egg formation within the oviduct. From that, we were trying to visualize, I guess, the expression in the oviduct of the magnum and uterus tissues. The magnum would be where like, the albumin, um, the bulk of the albumin is made, and then the uterus is also known for the shell gland. We were trying to see if when the egg is present in those tissues, is the expression significantly higher than when it's not present? But through analyzing our results, we did figure out that there was a significant amount of expression within those tissues when the egg was there. So it just confirmed our hypothesis. There's a couple of reasons why we're looking at chicken egg formation regulation. One is because the human population is increasing so rapidly now. And another is that the 10% the of eggs in commercial farms that are being lost due to soft eggshell breakage, which heat stress is a leading cause in. So understanding the way the egg is regulated in terms of its, its production, that will help us to find out reason, I mean, sorry, find solutions in order to increase the efficiency of egg production and to get rid of that economic loss that's being caused by heat stress. Dr. Mbiendra Mishra from Sitar and Manoa, his team did a previous RNA sequencing where they were looking at the important genes that help in producing a quality egg. And when they did that, they found, they found that gonadotropin-releasing hormone receptor, that that was the first time that expression of that gene has been found in the oviduct of hens. So that's why they put that on us to look closer into how it's being expressed throughout the oviduct. ultimately trying to find other solutions, trying to develop more solutions in order to just increase the efficiency and then reduce the economic loss. So it feels really good to be able to, I guess, um, use experiments and apply that data to different solutions that we can potentially use to hopefully increase efficiency in eggs. I feel very happy that, that mm -hmm. you can other people can see the importance of what we're trying to do because I mean that's the whole reason why we're all trying to go into research because we're trying to solve all these problems that, is, that the world is facing and to be doing these little things that seem so small and insignificant that having other people see that is what really makes me happy because that's why I want to do research. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just why I'm here in science. Well, this experience has really it's exposed me to a lot of techniques that are used in other research um, protocols, you know. Mm -hmm. And being able to learn these protocols and to apply them to other things in, in life, not just what our project is, but understanding how it could be used to find out other things about other topics. Learning these, these things that we do here, it, I feel like it really gives me the experience that I need, will need to start going towards where I want to be. It's a lot of what you learn here, you can actually apply it to different things, not just chicken, you know, the chicken oviduct, the magnum uterus tissues. And it does help me as well, because um, it opened my eyes to research. I didn't know that was a possibility, and I didn't know what exactly that consisted of. It opened my eyes to a whole new option that I didn't know was possible or even thought of doing. So I actually found a lot of interest in this. So I really like it. I want to proceed with it. So.